In this video, I'll show you how to get this customer's VIN number into a used junkyard ECU. The tools I'll be using for this, Britas, Multiflash, and of course we need our Godiac to get the power supply so we can read the VIN before and after. So you can confirm my work was done correctly. Dealer couldn't do it, let's see if we can. Let's read the VIN number in this donor ECU. Power my ignition. I'll go to my Abritas, and if you can see, read from the vehicle. Ignition's on, correct. This is the VIN number from a junkyard vehicle. We'll shut it off. We'll go to our multiprobe. And in our multiprobe, we have a pinout on how to connect to our ECU. So as you can see, pinout is here. So I got my pinout ready. I will connect my connector to my multiprobe. Now that we have everything connected correctly, let's hit read. This thing is gonna buffer and then read this data. While it's reading and you need VIN change to your vehicle, link below or at the end of the video. Now that I read my file, if you can see, a bunch of H's, we'll just hit save. I'll save as Hyundai read with multi channel 47 mode. I'll go to my HXD. I will load my file. So I'll put my Hyundai read with multi and channel 47 and my file populates in here. I will click search, find, and then we'll find this old VIN number that we just read, the 811. If you can see the 811 here, this is what we read, 811. So, so this is the VIN number we read, and this is the VIN number we found in the file. Now what I'm gonna go is search, replace, and we're gonna replace with the VIN number customer needs. So this is the 523 VIN number. So I'll click, I got my 523 here. If you can see, file change. We will save this as, and we will go to file, save, and I'll save as 523VIN. Let's just do that. So 523VIN, go to my multi-probe. I will open my 523 file. It's on my desktop, so 523, click, and then we'll write. Stick around to the end and we will see if the VIN number changed. If you do need the service, I will leave a link below. And if you do have the tools, the multi-probe to read the processor and Abritas to read it on the desk, this is how you do it. Now that it's done writing the VIN number, what I'm gonna do, disconnect my multi-probe. I disconnected my multi-probe. We're gonna power my ignition and we're gonna go to my Abritas and read. Yes, ignition's on. If you can see, Desired VIN number is changed. So now we can actually know this is a Tucson 2010 US market. Now that's how you change a VIN number in the Hyundai Kia ECU. Thanks for watching and see my next video how we change an ECU VIN number in a Ford.